All right. <clears throat> we seem to be live. We had the picture and picture and picture and picture and picture <laughs> earlier. Um, <clears throat> welcome if you are joining. Um, I literally five minutes before the stream, I swallowed something wrong. <laughs> so I have this annoying little tickle at the back of my throat now and I hope that it goes away <clears throat> as the stream continues. Um, but welcome to my Thursday live stream. I, I don't do these that regularly. I try and do them every two weeks. Um, but in these sessions, I just kind of figure something out. Hey, Cynthia. <laughs> Good morning. What are you doing here? You should be at WordCamp US. <laughs> and it's Chris as well. I have lots of friends here today. <laughs> welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so <clears throat> to catch everybody up as to what I've been doing, uh, like two weeks ago, I started working on this pull request that I've been wanting to... Cynthia says, everybody is asleep here. Ah, okay. Still too, too early in the morning. <laughs> Welcome anyway. Um, I've been working on this <clears throat> pull request for the playground block. Um, the playground block is a way that you can uh, basically set up an instance of the WordPress playground, which is a, a WebAssembly instance inside of your WordPress site. Um, and it, basically, it, looks, it looks essentially like this. <coughs> Excuse me. And it has a code editor view where you can pop in some plugin code. Um, hey, P -V. Um, And you can run that in the front end. So I'm not going to do any plugin code now, but it'll it'll enable the plugin and run it on the on the front end environment. And then folks can edit that plugin code and see the changes happening. Uh, it only works with plugins currently. And I what I'm doing is I'm busy working on trying to make it work with themes as well. So last week, not last week, two weeks ago, I started working on this functionality uh, and I was able to create a kind of working pull request. Uh, there it is over there. Uh, and I got stuck towards the end. Uh, I couldn't figure out why. I got the theme files writing. Um, I got the uh, theme lo uh, saving, but then not activating and so i created this pull request and i asked for some help and the very cool uh i think it's david urbanski i hope that's how i pronounce his name he is a <clears throat> I think polish developer he has worked with i think he was the primary person who built the playground block plugin he worked with adam on it and what he reminded me <clears throat> was that what i was missing about the activate theme um call is that it has the client is the first parameter and then an object <coughs> as the second parameter. And in an object, you need to pass a set of key value pairs, um, or at least in this object. And the key is theme folder name, not theme slug. <laughs> so what I was trying to do was just pass in the folder name or the slug as a variable. Um, and then I also got reminded that in, in JavaScript, you can pass there's this shorthand notation for objects that you can pass. If the variable that you're passing has the same name as the key that you're assigning it to, you can just pass in the variable name and it all just magically works. Um, <clears throat> to the best of my knowledge, there's nothing in PHP that does that, which is why I forget it every time. Chris, you can correct me on that one if I'm wrong there. Uh, I don't think there's a there's a, a shorthand like that in PHP. There might be, I don't use it, um, <clears throat> but it's what I missed. So really all I had to do was either pass in the, the fully defined object, so the key as theme folder name and then the variable that I was passing in, or I could use the shorthand method. Um, so I tested that and sure enough, <laughs> when I changed that code, it worked. Um, so now it's at least writing the theme files. Well, that, that was what I was already doing, but now it's at least activating the theme and running it uh, on the WordPress uh, front end. So I'm gonna just test that out again, just to make sure that my, my code hasn't been broken. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to remind myself how to set up this local environment. So this is the <clears throat> playground tools environment. Um, and it was this NX dev WordPress playground block uh, command. So I'm going to switch into my playground tools. <clears throat> uh, I think it's just playground tools repository. 
Uh, let me just check if I'm, yes, I'm still on the same branch that I was working on. Um, that is the file that I've been working on. So I'm going to run this command and this will set up, oh, I don't have NX installed. That's weird. I could have sworn I installed it last time. Um, anyway, let's install it again. <coughs> So weird, I thought I had installed it last time. Maybe it, maybe it's not in my path somewhere along the line. Um, let's try it again here. No, not that one. Let's go next dev. There we go. Okay, so that's running. Um, hello, Hilda Hidalgo. Good morning from Manassas VA US. Welcome. Um, if this is your first time, I, I do these live streams roughly every two weeks. They're very unprepared. They're usually just me trying to figure something out. Um, and as I said, this is part two of a series that I ran last week. Um, if you want to catch up on part two, you can do. It's on the WordPress YouTube channel. I'll share that link very quickly. If you want to see what I got, got up to last week. Um, let me find here. That was contact form, blog. Here we go. This is This is last week's video. So I'm going to copy this link here and I'll pop it in the chat. <coughs> As I said, apologies, I have a little bit of a tickle in my throat today. Okay, so this is the local environment setup. I'm finding the background music a little bit too loud, so I'm going to turn the volume down just a tad. Uh, there we go. Um, if anybody's wondering, this background music was created for me by my friend uh, at Echo Jelly. Echo Jelly creates um, custom content, custom music for online content. Um, and, and Echo Jelly was, was very kind to create my playlist for me for my live stream. So thank you, Echo Jelly. Uh, I'm turn that down a bit more. No problem. Happy to share the links. Uh, if there's any links that you see on screen that you want that you want me to share, just uh, pop, pop a question in the chat. I'm always happy to share them. Um, while I'm at it, let me actually share the, the pull request that I'm working on. So folks can follow along there if they would like to. Um, <clears throat> for some reason, Command V in Ob Studio doesn't work. So I have to right click every time. It's the most annoying thing. Um, well, maybe it's not in Ob Studio. It's in the Twitch chat uh, box that I have enabled. Um, there's probably some setting somewhere. Uh, but I couldn't be bothered to figure it out now. <laughs> so I'll just right click. <clears throat> okay. So let's check that this still works. So if I go to my dashboard, the plugin should be installed and active. I did have that test theme that I built last week, which was just two files. Um, oh, doesn't look like I do have one anymore. So I might have to recreate that. Um, let's have a look here. <coughs> so let's let WP admin load. I don't know why this is taking so long. There we go. Okay. Uh, and let's have a look at the plugins. Okay, the playground block is there. There is a new version. I'm not gonna, this is basically because I'm I'm using a fork of this plugin, so I'm not gonna update this now. Um, and let's see if the <coughs> theme version works. Okay, there, oh, there's the theme. It's still loaded in memory. How cool is that? It actually loads it for you and keeps it, keeps it in memory. Um, so this is the code editor. And now if I activate this live preview, <coughs> let's open up DevTools so we can see if there are any errors. If I activate that live preview, it should save the theme and then load it. <coughs> you see that it first loads the initial site and then it triggers the, um, the theme. So there's the theme template. Uh, here's the style that CSS, here's the template. Um, and so now I know that theme's working. So um, Georgie V says, what WordPress stack are you using? MAMP, local WP or something else? So the stack that I'm using for this piece of development is very specifically the playground based version um, called WP Now. Um, if you go to, let me show you quickly. If you go to playground tools, um, this is basically the repository which manages the Playground plugin, the Playground block for Gutenberg, 
the WordPress playground for Visual Studio. There's a, there's a playground uh, extension and then WP Now. And WP Now is essentially a local development environment, kind of similar to, let's see, similar-ish to something like, um, uh, what's that one that Laravel built? Um, not heard, the one before that. Can't remember it now. Um, it has escaped me. <laughs> they actually talk about it in WP now somewhere here. Uh, Laravel Valet, that's it. So it's kind of similar-ish to Laravel Valet. You basically can run it from the command line um, in a theme directory, in a plugin directory. It'll load up a playground in, uh, setup, and then you're and then you're good to go. Um, so that's what I'm using for this development because the playground block plugin uses that environment for its development environment. It's not what I personally use. Uh, if you want to know what I personally use, I'm happy to share that as well. But it's not what I'm using for for these live streams. Um, <clears throat> Okay, do check out WP now if you're interested. Let me share that link in the chat if you want to play with it. Um, if you've heard of Studio by WordPress.com, it's kind of similar to Studio, uh, but it's not as uh, polished. Studio has a nice front end, a nice user interface, a nice app that runs. WP now is all command line based. Um, similar to WP ENV, uh, but instead of using Docker, it uses the Playground uh, WebAssembly image. <coughs> All right, so it's kind of weird because if you think about it, I'm running WP now, which uses WordPress Playground, and then I'm loading up the WordPress instance in my browser, and then I'm adding the Playground block, which then triggers another instance of WP Playground, um, or WordPress Playground. It actually, what it does is it loads the one on the Playground site, so it loads it from the internet. So it's like Playground within Playground within Playground. <laughs> <coughs> Or as I, as I like to call it, Playgroundception. Um, okay, so it looks like this is all working. So this is great. So now I've got uh, my style and my templates index working. It loads how things I want to work. So that's cool. But the code itself is not done because all I really did was I took this write plugin files component um, and I literally just copied it and called it write theme files. And then everywhere it said plugin, I changed it to theme. Um, and then in the I'm trying to remember where it was now uh, it wasn't here i don't think uh yes it was here wasn't it i can't remember now i made let me check i made changes to two files um <coughs> three files even apparently <coughs> so it was the edit okay in the edit.tsx that was where we added the um the controls to have plugin or theme mode that's something i'm going to need to fix because currently it's a drop down and really it should probably be a toggle um in the playground pre preview index file which i think is this one no not this one this one uh is it that one yes in this one, um, it was the playground. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, basically, I just I get the code editor mode, and if it's theme, then I call the right theme files component. Otherwise, it's plugin. Then it does some JSX transpiling, <coughs> and then calls the right plugin files component. So really, this needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, there should only be maybe one component that that is called maybe write code editor files because i don't see the point it's, it's essentially all doing the same code just with some different changes some different variables really but and, and one or two different function calls but otherwise it's effectively the same um maybe it does make sense to have one that says write plugin files and one that says write theme files and then the functionality that is duplicated we can extract somewhere else i haven't quite figured that out yet um but the goal today is at least to do all of that to clean it all up and then the other thing i need to fix is in the block itself, there is a download button. And the download button, I think, is the file that I have open here. Uh, yes, is it? No, it's activate, get template, um, mount, mount. Is it this one? No, it's not this one. There is a, there is some functionality somewhere that, that manages the download of the file. 
Um, I can't remember now where it is. But essentially, <clears throat> it's only working with the plugin directory at the moment. So that's going to break if somebody clicks on download. So I need to fix that as well. So that's the goal. Um, I'm going to move some files around because I get confused if they're in the wrong place. So let's start with this. Now this code, <clears throat> I kind of used some code that was there previously. Um, and I don't really want to do that. I kind of want to leave that code back the way it was uh, and have a separate toggle control. So in the block area, I want to have a toggle control for whether it's a plugin or whether it's a theme. Does a toggle make sense? Mm, maybe not. Maybe not a toggle control. Maybe maybe a drop-down does make sense. Hmm. The other option would be a select. Um not a select, a what's it called? Radio buttons. Um I wonder what, let's have a look at what components um, the block editor has. So if we go to, I think it's in the component reference. Yeah. Combo box. Enhanced version of select. No, that's not really what I want. What I want is like radio buttons. <clears throat> radio control. That's probably kind of what I want. I want a single option from a list, but I want to show all valuable options. That is kind of what I want. Uh, so I think that's what I'm going to use. Okay, <clears throat> so let's let's use radio control. Okay, so let's import radio control from the components, which is probably going to be up here somewhere. Mm -mm. Mm. Go. <clears throat> select control yeah so let's export the no no <laughs> let's export the radio control <clears throat> and then I'm going to put this just under this control here. So radio control. And then it does a label, selected options, options, unchanged, let's just grab all of this. <coughs> we'll take out whatever we don't need. Okay, so label is Mode editor mode. Um, I'm going to leave out the help for now. The selected option is going to be um, code editor mode, which I think is just plugin or theme. And it's a mode. The options are plugin theme. I'll check now why this thing is giving us errors. Gave me a similar area here a while back, but it still worked. So I think it's just TypeScript being fussy and I tend to ignore those things. <laughs> uh, type 
is not assignable to type read-only array. Um, I think this should just work. <clears throat> okay, there was an error there. Check these out. Okay. <clears throat> Syntax error. Seven to seventy seven nine. No, 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 da, 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 da. Oh, that's why. No, yes, no. <coughs> Let's see if this throws an error. Oh, it's because I'm a singer. successfully now this is where it gets interesting so <clears throat> these red lines here as far as i know are because this is typescript code um and so i'm not very good with typescript i've never used typescript so as far as i know the code will compile or transpile but my id is going to throw errors at me which i'm okay with right now <laughs> so i'm going to leave those red lines as they are um, because this should work. So let's have a look. <clears throat> so it's not like there's bugs in my code, it's just that I'm not using <clears throat> the types correctly or something. I'll have to I'll have to dig into that once I get it working. <clears throat> I don't know enough about TypeScript to know what the problem is. I'm gonna mute my mic for a second because I need to blow my nose. So please bear with me. This is the beauty of live stream, folks. You get to see me do all kinds of weird things. Okay, let's refresh this. Okay. Value is not defined. 274.43, so there is an error there. Um, oh, unchanged needs to get a value. That's why. Bear, bear, bear. 
Um, and change needs to receive a value. Uh, I'm not great at. So it's going to be that. That should be fine. <clears throat> okay, it built, so it's all happy. Let's refresh. There we go. All right. So now, if I click on my block, I should have. There we go. Plug in or theme, and look, it's changing that as well. How cool is that? That's very cool. Okay, that's nice. So that's doing what I need to. It's probably going to change the the um the what's it called the attribute <laughs> as well um so now what i can do is i can revert this code over here that i just kind of stole for them for this um and so to do that i'm going to put it back to um how it was <clears throat> which i can do by going back here and checking out the WordPress playground box source edit.t6 uh, packages WordPress playground block source edit.ts. All right, and there's all this stuff that uh, Adam had commented out a while back. Here we go. So it's here from line 265 down to somewhere. <clears throat> it's this one, it's this div, it's this div here. Okay, so it's this whole div. There. Okay, let's just go to raw mode. Right, let's edit it a little bit easier and I can scroll. Um, that's up to there. So it's from that div. And I'm going to copy the comment as well. There, there we go. <coughs> and then here, that's where the comment is. And that's where the div is. And essentially what I'm doing here is I'm just putting back the code that I changed because I want to leave that code there because it was used for something else. Um, <coughs> And uh, it's not exactly right, is it? Oh no, oh, that's why, didn't go far enough. There we go, there we go, okay. So I'm just gonna leave that there for now. Um, there was some script mode that was enabled it was disabled so I'm just gonna leave it out for now um, read only array I wonder if it needs to be passed as an object or something I don't know I'll have to check with Adam on that one <clears throat> but it's fine it's working for now okay so let's test that. So to test that, I'm going to have to switch between plugin mode and code mode. Um, it would be cool if switching between those modes, like set up a default template. I have a feeling that's actually available in here somewhere. Um, Let me see if I can find that. First, what I want to do is I want to just copy out these files. So I'm going to open up some scratches. 
If you don't know, Scratch is a feature of PHP Storm that allows you to create sort of temporary files. And I'm going to steal, I'm actually going to delete these. No. Don't need any of these. Okay, so let's create a new Scratch. So let's create a star sheet. Scratch file. There we go. <coughs> and we'll pop. No, that was the template. I want the template. Okay. Leave that over there. And then let's create another one for the template. Can just sit there. <clears throat> so now what I want to do is remove the block plugin. Or at least remove the block, should I say? <clears throat> and then add a new instance of it. And then enable the code editor, and here we go. So it's gonna be something like this that I'm gonna be looking for. So there must be this template somewhere. I'm interested to see how that's implemented. Okay, so here it is. Okay, so it's block JSON. Hmm. So it imports it. So I would have to set up this and it's going to be difficult to do with the template file for a theme. Not going to worry about it today. <clears throat> I suppose what we could do because I'm guessing what it does when you toggle that it's going to need to call something. Um, and what it calls is probably right plugin files. Let's see where write plugin files is being called. <coughs> mm. Not what I wanted to come and go. Away. It's here in the index. So in the index, oh, it's. Oh, it's when it's re reinstall edited plugin, which probably gets called when the block loads. Final files equals files. Files is passed to this. Search for reinstall edited plugin. I think it's here. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, so init playground eventually calls reinstall edited plugin. Reinstall edited plugin gets the code mode and writes the files. Um, do the files get updated? Alright, looks like I 
Use editor files, probably. Yeah, so the files need to be written. Okay. I'm going too deep into this. It would have been cool if we switched from plugin to theme, but then rewrote the code editor. Um, like refresh the code editor. But I'm not quite sure where that would be. So I'm going to leave that off for now and uh, hope that somebody can help me with that part. What I am going to do <clears throat> is go back to where I was which was here, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, there we go. So that'll give us the code editor mode. So <laughs> Bye Chris. Um The code to merge should probably be below the code editor field. I'm going to start by fixing that. If I can just remember where that was. <laughs> it was here. Yeah, there we go. So, radio, but radio, radio, radio. There we go. <coughs> Let's take that out. <coughs> And the reason I say this is because if you switch to theme, it shouldn't show you the transpile to JSX bit. So here I'm going to say if go to my plugin, then do this. I don't know if this is the right way to do this. Oh, this is the way to do it. Seems to be complaining about that. Let's uh, do a quick check on React additional rendering.
<laughs> okay, so I think what I need to do here is set up a variable. Something along the line of um, show, wait, const show j6. There. So that'll be true or false. Okay. And then. Do this kind of thing. Okay, so that should work now. So when I switch this code editor mode, it should show the transpile JSX. Let us see. Okay, code worked. Okay, let's click on the block. Okay, it's currently on theme. I switch to plugin. Yay! That works. Multiple files can stay like that. Include error log. I think is fine, but that's kind of exactly what I want. So I don't want the transpiling to be visible if you switch to theme. I probably should also set Code it's on spell JSX to false when you change the value. So if value plugin and it's no, if value equals theme. I need to set the, uh, that's I mean that's not a bad idea it'll set it'll set both attributes at the same time or just set once I'm okay with that basically what I'm doing is I'm turning off if somebody sets the code and transpile and plug in and then decides to switch to theme so I think I'm okay with that so let's test it okay so it's currently in theme mode. If I switch to plugin and I switch that on and I switch back to theme, then when I switch back to plugin, it should be off. That's what I want. Okay, cool. The files thing I'm gonna figure out. Maybe I'll get someone to help me with that um, before I wrap this up. I don't think I'll need to do another live stream on it. It would be cool if it just loads, maybe just the style sheet with just like one, um, and maybe an index template with like nothing. That's a good possibility. So style sheet with just the theme name and the index template with nothing. Because that'll work. Yeah, that will work. So that I'm going to ask for some help on because I'm not quite sure how to trigger that. But now if we go back to where were we? Um, not there. Here. So now we can move this code out 
because if it's switched to theme, then this shouldn't trigger. <laughs> Theoretically, because the toggle is turning it off. So that can go there. And then we can now. If we look at right plugin files, the only differences are the path and the call. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new component called write code editor files. TSR. Write code editor files. Okay, I'm going to add that to Git. I'm going to take plugin files out, or copy what's in plugin files into there. Okay, so this stays the same. Editor file from index. Let's edit a file. Oh, okay. Um, that stays the same. This changes. So it's activate plugin or activate theme. But maybe if we keep right plugin files and right theme files and then just keep the core functionality. Or we just leave it like it is, because it works. <laughs> Let's think about this. So write plugin files. It's got to import activate plugin. The dark root changes. And then the, the activate plugin call changes. Does it really need to be? I'm only doing this twice, either on a plugin or a theme. So I'm never going to need to create like another write something component. So does it matter? I've always, I've always been led to believe that when it comes to do not repeat yourself, the minute you need to repeat yourself more than twice, that's when you should ex um, refactor the code. I could then spend the time on trying to get the files to change. <sighs> I think that's what I'm going to do, because I think that leaving this like this works. And so I'm going to just leave it like that.
This is me trying to figure out how I can change the files and rewrite them to the code editor. Um, when we toggle the This should probably be changed to reinstall it to code or something. And it'll rerun code. That's probably what it is. So reinstall edited plugin should be reinstall edited code. Thank you. 
This is just getting the files from the attributes. if it would work just as a hack if I change the files the thing and I added it a second ago. Yeah, coded it to mode. No, it wasn't that. No, it was that. Okay. It's interlock file, multiple files. Yeah. Um, I wonder if I set attributes, right, <coughs> files. Check what the attributes are. Let's just see what's inside that attributes object. So it's an array and it's contents name. Okay. Files array contents name. Okay. So if I files.
Yeah. Okay. So it was contents and name. Contents. Actually, we can go name contents. It doesn't really matter, I think. It's the beauty of JavaScript objects. Okay. And then if the first one is style.css, so this is if it's theme, style.css. And it's just theme name. That should work. And the other one is templates index.html. Let's just check it there. Yeah. And I'm just going to leave it blank. Okay, so that is if it's a theme and if it's a plugin then it is what we set up in the block JSON. If it's the right way to do it, but it should work. Maybe? <laughs> I have no idea. But I feel like that should work. So let's see. Um, okay. Let's go. Now I'll take the console out later. If that works, then I'm going to bounce to the whole download thing. Because I've only got an hour left. Okay, hmm. yeah, it doesn't work because it doesn't rewrite. Hmm. Obviously, it doesn't re render when the files change. Or could we make it re-render? Hmm. 
Okay, I'm not gonna <clears throat> worry about that now. I do want to try and see if I can. I think the probably the easiest way to solve this is actually just to. Um, so that should be true or false. Um, not string. Radio control. It's weird. Type string that sounds like T. Like TypeScript is requiring the radio button to be either true or false, and that's why this is an issue. So I'm not sure myself. I'm gonna leave it as is for now. It's not throwing any major errors. Okay. Um let's figure out the download bit. Um so where is that? Downloads the plugin. It's probably going to be a similar thing as downloads of theme or whatever. Right, so there's the button on click if ref. Da -da -da -da. Um, So in here we should specify, we could probably specify here, we can change if theme, if plugin, and here we can probably figure some things out. So let's make this download zipped. Um, I don't know, what should we call it? Package? Uh, before we do that, let's search for okay so let's call this download zipped package can't spell and we'll change this from download zip plugin to download zip package and then we'll change the file name as well. Download some package there. Rename download zip package. All right. And then in here plugin path and the file name so if oh, we need to import code editor uh, do we have code editor mode Possibly. Current mode. Let's see if that exists around here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Okay. <clears throat> Client. Credit to mode.
Maybe we should set some defaults. So it defaults to plugin if editor mode is theme, then we can set theme. There needs to be a lit. Okay, so defaults to plugin. Let's change the theme, it'll switch to theme. And it'll download and do the thing. And then that should work. As far as I know. Okay, that's all built correctly. So let's test this out. Um, so currently we're in theme mode. Let's refresh this. Okay, so let's run this. Okay, that definitely works. I'm going to preview this post. No, wait. I'm going to try and download this. I don't know why it's not working. Did I go and break it? <laughs> uh, it's not even showing any errors. That worked. Okay, well, let's just see if it did the right thing. Yeah, did the right thing. Weird. Okay, now let's do a plugin. So let's switch this to plugin. And then let's move that file. Create a new file. And remove the style. And let's just fire up like the most basic plugin. Okay. That should work. Here's the plugin. That's not what I want. Where'd that go? Oh, there's the plugin, the PHP. Okay, so what's interesting is that it just exports the file. I think that was normal. That's what it did before and I'll double check it now but that seems to be working now um the only thing that it's not doing is it seems to be still loading my theme it's not the end of the world I guess because I can't see myself using the same block and switching between the two. It's not the best experience in the world, but it's it's okay. Um, 
I would still like to be able to automatically. So I feel like I feel like that's sorted out. Let's just go back and stuff. I feel like that's sorted out. Um, I would still like to be able to automatically change the files. I have no idea how I would do that. <clears throat> But I think I'm going to leave it there because if I'm honest, that's a really nice thing to have, but it's not the end of the world if it's not there. I can I can always work around that manually. Um, so I'm going to commit this to my branch and do some testing. Okay. Um, name support for code editor changed the mode control to a radio control selection. Um, did the download functionality to support plugins and themes. Okay. Um, branches this on three five one. Code is the support. The latest changes get pull. Oh, get to commit. Hmm? No idea why that wasn't committed. What? Oh, as, as the code is about. Okay, that's fine. Um, no. Oh, does oh does a reformat? Oh. Um. Change. done this before I started merge with components playground preview index of tier six Ugh. I hate merge conflicts. Some changes recently. Uh, lost. Okay, so it looks like this was added. So I can just take this out. Take the 
that out. You can take that out. You can take that out. I think that's fine then. It seems to be the only problem. Should have done a get pull before I started. What a maroon. Rest all seems fine. Okay, that seems fine. So get add. <sighs> this one. Okay, and the next one was write theme files. Uh, okay. Looks like something weird that I left there so that's fine that's totally fine okay get add this one Okay, and then get rebase continue. Okay, okay, that all looks good. Origin three five one. Okay, managed to fix my 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 conflicts. Um, so, this has been updated. Let's run through this. So, changing that, adding that, changing that, adding that, cut it mode. Reinstall it code, yeah, that's fine. Theme files. That. Now to test. It's always the least fun part. It's testing the stuff out. Uh, <laughs> Got to be done there. Okay. So let's close that. Let's refresh all of this. Um, just see how. Just run that dev server again. Okay, so that's all happy. So let's go back to the dashboard. Okay. I must have I must have done a sync at some point. Hmm, forgot about that. Anyway. All good. Um, okay, let's delete this. Save this. Close the auto save and then let's refresh and let's test. So first test will be the default, which is plugin. Okay, switch on the code editor side by side. 
It's in plugin mode. I need to, I also want to test the transpiling JSX to JS thing, but that's a separate conversation. Uh, let's do a regular content. No, it's a filter. Um, <laughs> um uh, filter the content WP learn the content and then function no So that will just be a default content filter. So let us run that. Um, we will activate the live preview. Okay, the plugin works. It should work by default. Let's go to the sample page. And there is hello. And then if we preview this in a new tab, there's the plugin. It's a bit small because my view is very narrow. So there's that. Let's get the sample page. There it says hello. If I down, I'm going to delete those things from my desktop quickly. Uh, I'm also going to delete that because I don't need that anymore. Uh, okay, let's download the plugin. WordPress Playground plugin. There it is. If I extract. There's the index.php. Okay. So that's good. Um, so now let's switch this to, let's actually delete it and refresh. And then let's test it in theme mode. So code editor, theme mode, transpile disappears, excellent. This, I, I honestly don't mind if this is manual because what I can do is I can actually change the file that's there um, and I'm okay with that really. It would be nice if when it switches, it actually changes the files, but I'm gonna to chat to Adam separately about that one. Let's see if I can get some feedback from him on that one and see if I can make that at another stage, but I'll do that in my own time, to be honest. I'm not gonna do that in the live stream. Maybe I will, maybe I'll do it in the live stream. So there's the templates, and then let's add the style.css. You can actually load this from a GitHub URL as well, if you like, which is kind of cool, but I'm not gonna do that today. Um, so that's there. There's the demo theme. There we go. And now if we run this, it should activate the theme. Good, there it is. Let's preview this in a new tab. Right, let's preview this in a new tab. There it is, let's run it. There it is, and let's see if we can download it. Hey, it worked, sweet. Okay, and if we extract this, this one actually creates the theme folder, which I think it's because there's folders inside. I'm not sure I don't know if it's a Mac thing, but that all seems to work. So I'm very happy at this point in time. Um, this is essentially the core like MVP that I wanted. I wanted to be able to work in plugin or theme, uh, load up the theme files and it just works. So it does. So that's where I'm going to wrap up this live stream. Um, and I'm going to Changes to a draft. Um, I'm going to mark it as ready for review. Um, 
And I'm going to say... Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to update the testing instructions um, check out the check out the branch uh, load an instance of the playground in site editor change the code editor Move to theme, create a style.css and index, no, templates.index.html block theme files, run the playground instance. Uh, hello, Aslam, welcome. <laughs> um, the two theme files should activate as the uh, active theme in the preview. Okay, um, that's all I'm going to do there. So that is, ah, oh, I didn't, that needs to be changed okay so that's done um i'm pretty happy that that covers what i needed to do so i hope that somebody is able to review and merge this over the course of the next few weeks um i am going away for a week next week so i'm hoping that by the time i come back this is merged so i'm probably going to ping a few people um but i'm very happy with that um Yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see what happens to it. So that's going to be my bit for today, folks. Um, I just wanted to mention that if anybody out there feels like being nice to me, I noticed that my, let me just pause this, my Twitch uh, subscribers, I'm sitting on 199 followers. So if anybody feels uh, feels uh, interested to hit follow, uh, do that, please, because then I can get a nice round 200. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing this getting merged. Um, Cynthia is, is also quite keen because Cynthia is hoping to use this for for some of her um, 
learn WordPress uh, theme developer learning pathway lessons. Um, and so am I. So yeah, I'm quite happy with, with where this where this is, how this works. Um, maybe in future I'll be able to add functionality so that if you switch these, it automatically switches the files, but uh, I'm not going to worry too much about that today. So thank you all for joining me today. Um, I will hopefully see you again in about two weeks. I don't know what I'll be live streaming on in about two weeks, but I'll try and come up with something. Uh, I'm going to try and do a live stream every two weeks if I can. Um, I do have some ideas of what I could do next, um, but I haven't, I haven't got them in stone yet. But uh, thank you all for joining me and following along. And I'll see you around.